kind of difference a day makes. Going past, I can't be doing. Be stuck behind her. She can't bloody drive. Anyway, welcome this morning. We're leaving Apple Cross. Day's looking like it's going to be a damn sight better than it was yesterday. It's still pretty windy. Yeah, so I'm whacking it home today. Darren's going up north still. So we're heading off around the peninsula today. Uh, there's no way after yesterday, there's no way I'm going back up doing the Black Navarre. But yeah, I really thought I was gonna end up in a ditch yesterday. Properly in a ditch. I mean, look at that. Look at that. At least you can see something today. You wouldn't have been able to see that yesterday. But yeah, stunning views from round here. The last time I came round here, there was a nuclear sub coming up through here. I've got some photos of it somewhere. Don't ask me where. Can you think of any better places to be on the first thing on a Monday morning? Nice waterfall there. Just slow down, I think, and just take in that view. Look at it. Absolutely bloody stunning. Come on, girls. Ladies. Ladies, thank you. They must be used to the traffic up here. You've lost your coats though, haven't you? You've had a shave. I mean, if you camp out here like these two, I mean, you wake up to these views. I mean, it, ah, unbelievable. It's like up here. Because if I remember rightly, I'm sure it was 2014 or 15 when I came up here last. So it's a good eight, eight or nine years since I've been up here. Stay there, young lady. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, why? Sit on a bend. Thank you. Brilliant. Ah, that does look bloody brilliant, though. Again, like everybody says, the GoPro's not going to do it any justice whatsoever. Yeah, I had to swing out, missus, because it was a bloody grip pothole. Oh, hello, ladies. Out for a stroll this morning. Oh, we're all out today, aren't we? 
Come on, lady, get it. That's it, get a good one. Come, Gertrude, you're late. Taking the view, taking the view. Take in the view. And there it is, opens out in front of you. You could never ever tire of this. Never. So we're heading back to Loch Carron now, and I don't think I can recall ever doing this bit of road as well. So another new one for the trip. Yeah, I definitely can't recall doing this. I can't remember the, coming past a lot like this. So there's the Apple Cross turn off, look. Road to Apple Cross Balaknabar. But we ain't doing that today. Still bathed in cloud by the looks of it anyway. Maybe there probably is more visibility up there today. Nicely surfaced road. We need more of that. Want more sun coming through. I mean, it's nice down there, look, in the sun. Don't know if I'm going that way or not. So there it is, in all its glory. Look at that view down the lock. But look, the sun's out. The sun visors down for the first time. Oh, for fuck's sake. What an absolute twat.
So you probably didn't see that bloke overtake, you just saw the brake lights from this van. What an absolute arsehole. Don't then, don't wave. This is a little sod. Oh, it's so much better when the sun's out. But what a difference a day makes. Yeah, it's still breezy, but the sky is so much clearer. And the roads are so much drier. So what's occurring here then? Convoy system. So this is a novelty. Never been convoyed anywhere before. can't think of worse places to be stuck. I mean this, oh and that sun as well now, oh it's starting to warm up, 18 degrees now, it's gone up too, brilliant. But I mean look at this stunning scenery. But at least they're resurfacing the roads here, it's more than we're doing down in our bloody council. It's a shit show back home. There we go. Jobs are good. Fort William and up changing the battery I think did the old GoPro ow fuck 
me. Ow! Ow, ow, ow! Jesus, that's giving me a black eye. Oh, man, saying about turning the GoPro off. I've just been smacked, properly smacked in the face. Just below my eye, luckily. Well, as you can see, we're back at uh, Glencoe. Just been through Fort William, filled up, stopped. Done all the necessaries. I won't go into details. But look, how different is this? Blue sky, it's red hot. What a difference. Compared to what it was Saturday night on Sunday morning. Chalk and cheese, isn't it? So what we're going to do now is I'll head off probably stop at the Green Welly. The obligatory biker stop, isn't it? You've got to do it. They are pretty spectacular lumps of rock though, aren't they? So we can chalk that one off then again. Glencoe done for another eight or nine years. It won't be in the next two anyway, definitely. Spain next year. Alps probably the year after. Again, I think this would be a good spot for a bit of wild camping down here. Oh, what are you doing? Get on your own side of the road. It's no good putting your hand up. difference with the sun out. I mean look at this. Look at this. So that's Glenateve in there where we camped Saturday night. I wish it had been like this Saturday night but hey ho. Beggars can't be choosers. I do love it up here. You can guarantee weather like this all the time. It'd be absolutely magical. Oh, what a day. It's a pity that you're going south and not north, but what can you do? Darren's going to have a great time up there. If, it's, if, if the weather's like this, it'll be absolutely bob on. Tindrum, or Tindrum, six miles, welly stop. The green welly stop. I'm guessing these were forged by glaciers and what have you, back in the day. I don't know. Not being a geologist, I don't really know. I'm guessing they were. You don't have to say much, do you? The scenery just speaks for itself. Let's have a bit of a break. Taking those last look at those hills. So they're going to be gone soon. That's the green welly done, so looking Loch Lomond next. And then Glasgow. And I'm not sure if this is the top end of Loch Lomond or not. I can't remember. It's getting warmer though, 22 degrees now. Yeah, I'm sure this is the top end of Loch Lomond. Oh, look at that. I know it's probably bloody freezing cold, but it looks so inviting to just jump into, doesn't it? Wow. 
wow, 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 wow. What a day. Why couldn't the weather have been like this yesterday? So we're back across the Clyde again. Over the old Erskine Bridge. So where's this England sign then? It's got to be down here somewhere because we can't be that far away from the border. It's here somewhere, I know it. I know it. England! There we go. Back in the room. Not far to go now, I suppose, when you look at it. A1, M18, M1. Home. Well, finally done with the motorways, the dual carriageways and what have you. It's the last, last stretch now. Satnav says the last seven miles to a nice steady little stroll on home and done too bad for time so we're going to sort of get there just after five past eight which is not bad going I've, I've sort of allowed between eight and nine so pretty much spot on so I just want to say thank you to everybody for coming along on the journey been a bit of a roller coaster the last few days. Hope you've enjoyed it. I know I have. I think Darren has. The lucky git's still up there. But if you have enjoyed it and you like the content, it's the normal YouTube thing at the end hit the like button, subscribe, whatever. So for now, folks, thank you very much, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.